Welcome to Reading Africa. Today we're going to read about the Kuba Kingdom. The Kuba Kingdom, or Kuba Kingdom, also known as the Kingdom of the Wakuba or Bushongo, is a traditional kingdom in Central Africa. The Kuba Kingdom flourished between the 17th and 19th centuries in the region bordered by Sankuru, Luluya, and Kasai rivers in the southeast of the modern day. Democratic Republic of the Congo. It was established in 1625 and de established in 1884 and was run based on a monarchy system. The Kuba Kingdom was a conglomerate of several smaller Bushongo speaking principalities as well as the Kete, Kofa, Bayangi, and the Kasai Twa Pygmies. The original Kuba migrated during the 16th century from the north. 19 different ethnic groups are included in the kingdom, which still exists today and is presided over by a king called Anyim. Historical accounts show that the kingdom began as a conglomeration of several chieftains of various ethnic groups with no central authority. In approximately 1625, an individual from outside the area known as the Shyam Ambul and Gong assumed the position of one of the area rulers and united all the chieftains under his leadership. Tradition states that Nayam Ambul was the adopted son of a Kuba queen. He left the Kuba region to find enlightenment in the Pende and Congo kingdoms to the west. After learning all he could from these states, he returned to Kuba to form the empire's political, social and economic foundations. The Kuba government was reorganised towards a merit-based title system, but power still remained firmly in the hands of the aristocracy. The Kuba government was controlled by a king called Nim, who belonged to the Bushong clan. The king was responsible to a court council of all the Kuba subgroups who were represented equally before the king by their elites. As the kingdom matured, it benefited from advanced techniques adopted from neighbouring peoples as well as the New World. Crops introduced from the Americas such as maize, tobacco, cassava and beans. It developed a refined political system, elected official offices, legal systems, trial by jury, public good provisions and socially supporting movements. Cuba became very wealthy which resulted in great artistic works commissioned by the Kuba nobility. The Kuba kings retained the most fanciful works for court ceremony and were also buried with these artifacts. The Kuba kingdom reached its apex during the mid 19th century, just right before the Euro Europeans first reached the area in 1884, which was the end of the kingdom. Because of the kingdom's relative isolation, it was not as affected by the slave trade as were the Congo and Dongo kingdoms on the coast. The current reigning monarch, Kurt Abweke III, has been on the throne since 1968. The Kuba people are known for their embroidered textile fibres, carved boxes and carved cups and their powder which is ground from cam wood, which they used to trade with other kingdoms and other nations. The Kuba people's god is known as the Hot, and he is believed to have created life with the Earth Mother. This is the end of the Kuba kingdom. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe.